Hey everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another episode of Hard as Nails Earwax. And um, this patient, as you can see, it's just a brick wall really. We're not going to get through this. It's uh, wax. It's the kind of classic wax hair mesh, I suppose you could say. And uh, what we're going to do actually, because we're going to take a slightly different approach here. Scene has been cut. You can see everything looks kind of moist now. That's because I irrigated it for a minute with water. And uh, I'll upload another video of me doing that. But essentially, for all intents and purposes, we're just squirting water into the ear for, 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 for a minute and uh, holding a cup by the patient's ear and so on and so forth. So the classic, sort of similar to the classic syringing method, except we're using, we're using an, ele an electronic machine to achieve that and it's much safer and it pulses water and at a steady rate, quite a low flow rate. And um, what this does is, uh, well, as you can see, it just loosens everything up nicely, turns difficult jobs into easy jobs. But I wasn't expecting this. I mean, this is, well, <laughs> judge for yourself when it comes out. It, it is, um, it's like a cylinder, a, a perfectly shaped cylinder of just you know, hard as nails stuff in there. Last little bit near the eardrum and a uh, nice looking eardrum revealed there. Fairly clean looking ear. Um, so this side was, I mean, obviously this side was, was bothering the patient quite a lot, but his next ear, this is the right ear. The left ear was also bothering him, but he was getting a lot of pain on this side. This, this side was really agitating him. He had taken lots of painkillers to no avail, tried to fix the job himself with cotton buds, which just made the pain a lot worse, and you'll see why. Um, so I don't think I've irrigated this side, um, but he's, he's chucked in enough drops to, to make the debris a little bit more um, pliable, shall we say. But the reason that this side is hurting is that um, his eardrum is, is, is really bruised. Um, and well, in comparison to bruises you get on the rest of your body, um, they're really, really tiny, but it, you know, it's really sensitive down there. And again, when it's on your eardrum and then you've got loads of debris shoved up against the eardrum, it can be excruciatingly painful. So again, I'm just sort of going slowly here and, and trying my best to sort of pick apart this debris whilst not you know, trying to um, avoid the patient jumping out of his seat. Um, so we'll just remove this debris here. And again, because the patient is, because this ear is so painful, I was quite um, nervous to use the irrigator. I mean, the, we all hear about, you know, the, the downsides of syringing the ear, irrigating the ear with water for fear of perforating the eardrum. And realistically, that that's, you know, I've never actually heard of, a, of, of that happening to a colleague or, or I've heard of it happening to patients, but only the sort of old school methods where they use the big metal syringe and they literally pumped water into the ear at a dangerously high pressure. The machines that we have now, at least in the UK anyway, um, they're electronically um, driven. Uh, at, you can whack up the pressure if you want to, but for the most part, most people keep it on a low pressure. And you aim the stream of water upwards at the roof of the ear canal, not directly at the eardrum. Um, so there we go. We can now just see a little bit of the eardrum. It's that kind of bluish gray skin. And um, all we want to do really is just to reveal the eardrum. What I, I was slightly worried that it was, it was perforated given the amount of pain he was in. But uh, again, you can see the debris is, is really just a thick mesh of hair and wax. And uh, those of you who are fans of the channel, I'm sure you remember the, the episode where I compared it to Pycrete which is, uh, ah, there we go. So you can see, I'll, I'll pause it when we're in a good frame and the endoscope is demisted. I'll pause it here. Ugh, not there, there. So um, the eardrum, you can see where the bruises are. So there's two little purple splodges, those are the bruises, or hematoma, or um, I guess that would kind of be purpura. So like in terms of like bruising, which is called hematoma, so like bleeding, or red blood cells have escaped out of ruptured blood vessels and is like seeping into the tissue. So that's a bruise or blood blister. And um, they come in uh, from small to, to large, you have 
petechia, which is like small little blood spots. Like I'm sure you've seen petechia before, like maybe you've been slapped on the arm and you get lots of little red marks there. That's petechia. A larger uh, sort of blood bruise, so to speak, would be purpura, and that's probably what these would be. And then a large bruise would be ecchymosis. So these are two little spots of purpura. And you can tell, some of you may be thinking, well, was that due to the suction? Maybe, maybe as you were removing all the debris or suctioning around you caused that. We can tell that this is, it's actually quite difficult to, to kind of time how old the bruise is. Um, but it's certainly not fresh because if it was fresh, it would be bright red. Um, and then as, as a bruise or, or purpura gets older, the blood clots, it deoxygenates, and then it goes a darker color. And you can see that's very clearly purple. So um, there we go. At least we've revealed the eardrum. Everything's horribly inflamed. So we're going to have to do this in, in another step. Patient's going to come back uh, a week later so I can check on that purpura. And once the inflammation's calmed down, and everything's okay, then I can chuck some sodium bicarb in there and clear up. But uh, absolutely nightmarish, hard as nails earwax there. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section below and I will try my very best to get back to you. And of course, I will see you guys on the next episode.